Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing, and today we're gonna to look at how to restrict access on your Safari browser on an iPad. Okay, so here we are on our iPad, and we're gonna go into the settings area. So you've got your settings application, which I just have here in my dock on the bottom right, and we are presented with this settings screen. And from in here, we wanna go into the general area and then go down to restrictions. So by default, restrictions will be turned off. So we can go into restrictions. And in here, we want to enable restrictions. It's gonna ask you to put in a pin code. So obviously put in a pin code that will be difficult, uh, a pin code that nobody else will know, otherwise it defeats the purpose. So then you've got the websites area down the bottom. If I go into that, by default, it'll be set to all websites, which essentially means you can go to any particular website that you want using your, um, your browser on your iPad, your Safari browser. There is no restrictions as to what can and cannot be viewed. So you may want to navigate to this area and control what access you want to allow and disallow from your iPad. By default, if you select limit adult content, Apple has already a list of predetermined websites that it has blocked by default, right? It'll already know particular keywords or particular websites that are in a, some sort of a blacklist uh, that will stop your, your web browser on your iPad from even navigating to those. Uh, it'll also block a particular search engine results. So if you're looking for a particular word, a particular adult content related word, it will block that website or block that search result uh, automatically, which is very, very good. You can also go in a little bit further and down the bottom, you can add a website to allow access and you can then also never allow access to a particular website. So let's say there is a particular website that you wanna say, look, it's, uh, it's not actually adult content. However, the adult content filter is blocking it out for an unknown reason. You can go into here and specifically put in the website URL, and then that will add that particular website to a safe list, essentially white listing that website so that it will not be blocked. Similarly, if you want to specifically block other websites, you can go into here and say, uh, add a website to never allow access. Exactly the same way you can put in your URL and then that website will then be blocked. You can also have the third option down the bottom here, which is specific websites only. So within that area, you see that by default, it's already given access to a whole bunch of sites here. These are sites that are nice and you know family friendly websites that will allow access only to these websites. You can also go in and add a website down the bottom to uh, uh, add to this particular website list. So this is a extreme level of control where the, the Safari browser on your iPad will not be able to navigate to any single website unless it is listed as only allow these websites. That's an extreme measure if you really wanna lock down content on your iPad. So we're just gonna go back to all websites. So there you have it. I hope you found this guide helpful. Uh, I would love it if you commented below. It really does help me know what you guys are interested in and what you thought of the video. It also helps me to grow my channel and, and reach more and more people. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.